welcome to ITB. What's the experience been like for you? Thank you. Um, it has been a great experience. Business has been good for us. Um, we have had a lot of positive feedback and it is also very educational because this is my first time to ITB. And I realize that um, the continental Europe market especially is a lot of potential for us to develop business. So I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to, for the opportunity to be here. Give us your impression of of the trade show as a first timer? As a first timer for this trade show, it makes others look very small. Um, as a matter of fact, I got lost in here a couple of times. But the Caribbean village is a very, very well um, laid out, very well put together. It makes me very proud to be a Caribbean person. And this trade show in particular is good for us, for European development of our business going forward for the 2013 14 and onwards. So you've been quite busy. Yes. What sort of inquiries have you been getting? But generally, you get inquiries about what Barbados has to offer, about the state of the economy, because the driving question with everything nowadays is the state of the economy. They figure that European economy might be bad, a lot in the Caribbean might be bad as well. So you have to explain a lot to our partners, especially, that we are still stable in the Caribbean, we are still stable in Barbados, and we're still doing tourism as best as we could in the given circumstances. What, what new are you sharing with them regarding the, Barbados tourism? Well, we have a couple of programs on stream because when we look at tourism for this year, we, when we look at our business going forward, it looks like we would have been down 6%. But we have put some programming in place that we would act, actually end the year flat. The programs that we are looking at is programs to develop our product. We, we, there's a national tourism host, par, host program that we're working on. We're also looking at a national package, and we're also looking at some global opportunities to globalize our whole approach to the tourism for Barbados. And by this year, you mean 2013? 2013. 6% down. Yeah, it ended with 2013. But we have developed some programs that at least will bring us back flat, and because the, we were declining for the year so far, and we see that there will be continually some decline. But we believe by next year, March, end of March, we should see growth again for Barbados. How difficult is it for a market like, uh, a destination like Barbados to compete, to keep competing and to maintain its tourism and to keep it growing? But because it, this is a very competitive world now and the internet has made it really, is, is, you could take advantage of it, but also it could be a disadvantage to you especially if things are happening in this destination that are negative. But to answer your question, for us to remain competitive, we have to be a lot of different places and we have to make sure we spend our money more wisely because our focus um, has been very PR-centric and like what we are doing now, very PR-centric to help us with our spend. And our focus also, while like we are here at ITB, is to encourage more long stay visitors which would help us with um, our spend on the island more revenue because you know the longer you stay on the island the more revenue there is there so we work to get more revenue on island we work with a PR focus because that's the easiest spend for us and we are utilizing um, the web our social media very um, cleverly we work in with Rihanna now one of the big campaigns we have in the social media is the Rihanna, Rihanna uh, campaign, which has really benefited us a lot. How is that working? It's working phenomenal. You know, Rihanna is a big, big in the world of entertainment. And the fact that we work with her, um, with social media, it has increased our bookings. And that is why you could say by the end of the year, we should be able to stem the decline. Because what we're doing now is converting, trying to put conversion in place. To, to deal with all the media generation that we get from that program. Yeah, so I'm hearing here that the campaign that was last that was launched last November. Yes, with, with Rihanna. Rihanna. Yeah, it's already it's bearing fruit. That it's bearing fruit. Coming it's, as yeah, a result. yeah, because we it, we had the awareness. You know, there's a lot of awareness generated through Rihanna. So now we are tapping into conversion, trying to convert all that awareness that has developed. So we have done things like build a microsite and tie bookings, packages to the microsite. So we started to see trickle of business coming through that microsite. So then the idea now is to make that bigger. So, you know, as most Caribbean destinations do, you try to utilize what you have. And I think that's going to help us tremendously throughout the Caribbean.
as the tourism authority, I know your focus is on marketing mm -hmm. uh, Barbados to ensure that people can go to the destination. But you can't escape um, the whole issue of the product itself. Yes. Because that, that's not the issue, but because mm. you can't market if you don't have the product. Yeah. Um, what are some of the concerns about the, the product and where it is and whether or not it's, it's reinventing itself at a fast enough pace? But that, that is only a discussion we just had. Um, we realized that, I guess, most Caribbean islands, our product is a little out of alignment with, uh, with the present marketplace in a lot, of situ a lot of ways. A lot of our product has been built years ago, and we are in a stage now we have to upgrade to catch up, basically, because there's a different, um, the different demographic that is really coming to the Caribbean now. You know, you say that a lot of the older demographic now, they're depleting in some ways. So it's the younger crowd we got to try to focus on. And as a result, we got to, our product got to catch up with that type of demographic. And that is what we were just discussing, how we, how we need to rebrand ourselves and align our product with the marketplace, which is a big, it sounds very simple, but it's a big, 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 big program you have to uh, venture on to do costly that. Undertaking and costly, well. very costly undertaking. And unless there's a equal private sector engagement with government, it could be very, very challenging.